Hello and today I'm hoping to replace this with one that doesn't. Okay, <clears throat> so first things first, we need to take this wiper arm off. A little plastic clip just comes up and unclips from just there. Uh, I believe this is a 10 mil. Yep, so that's 10 mil nut that we need to undo here. Keep those together. Right now, usually the hardest thing with these <clears throat> is actually getting uh, getting these to break on here. So sometimes just pushing them back down like that and just giving it a bit of a wiggle back as a forwards. Gotta persevere with this. You can see now that's starting to move a fair bit, which means we must be getting somewhere. And off like that. Don't always come off as easy as that. Probably put some grease on that afterwards when we refit the new wiper motor, which is what we're actually doing today. Okay, <clears throat> little plastic cover comes off there. Undo that nut, which on here it wasn't very tight as you can see. Washer. Right, so now we can work on the inside and undo all the trim panel. These are a T25 screw. I'm just using an ordinary screwdriver here. those off. Let's get that switch over. And that simply drops down like so. Put that somewhere where you're going to lose it. And now we're going to we'll see our prize here. So we can see that's two 10 mil nuts. But first of all I'd like to undo our connector, which is hidden away along here. Okay, so first of all, let's get these uh, cable ties cut.
our 10 mil again to undo these, which are not 10 mil apparently. Uh, eight. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so before we go ahead with any further with this, I'm just going to make sure that everything is the same on both these motors, which literally they look exactly the same. We've got obviously a new nut on the new on the new one. You can just see there. You can feel it in your fingers. The amount of play that's in that. And this one has got just a tiny little bit which is probably within specification so you can just about see no you can't okay so now i'd like to bench test this one um, and before we do that we're gonna have a quick look at its circuit diagram this is where the good old haynes manual comes in and I've already marked off the page. So this is the rear wiper motor here. In fact, let me do a quick diagram. Okay, so here's the a quick diagram of uh, what I've copied out of the book there so you can clearly see um, terminal 31 at the bottom always refers to the battery ground um, you've got two terminals or two rails at the top um, 15 and 30 30 is your battery positive that's always live terminal 15 is basically your ignition switch on as you can see this goes through power comes in from the ignition switch goes through goes through fuse six you got one lead that goes straight down to the motor you got another which goes through k30 which is basically a timer relay <clears throat> i've only drawn the outputs on this because that's all we're interested in because all we really want to do is test this motor um on the output of this timer relay this goes to the motor also so you've got one that goes to um, direct positive all the time the ignition's on and you've got the other one which is switched as you can see here i've got a battery that's uh, provided us our power so this yellow wire here is connected to battery negative. We're gonna connect this to this wire here. We're just gonna very crudely just wrap that around there. And we're only bench testing this at the end of the day. And we've got our positive here. 
we've referred back to our diagram, we can see that one of these terminals on here will power this motor all the time. The other one will power the motor um, until the switch is uh, disconnects the power internally in here. So for that, I have two clips that I'm going to clip into there like so. And these will go to positive. So the yellow one here is operating the motor. I don't know if you can see that there. So I've crudely put a bit of paper on there so you can see it move. So um, let's try this yellow one. As you can see, that gives us power all the time. So this is the one that um, the timer relay sends a signal to to set this motor going. So that must mean this white one we can connect. This is the one that's connected directly to ignition power on. So as you can see, that's now parked. As you can see, that's now parked the motor or the wiper motor. So to activate it, <coughs> we connect to the yellow. And when we reconnect, it goes back to the parked position. So that's a successful test of that motor. So now, we're, so now we're ready to fit out onto the car. I'm just quickly want to point out that um, to make sure that this rubber is actually still there, this like uh, rubber standoff that sits just in there that gives it that right angle for when we fit the new motor. All that's left to do now is uh, test it. I think it needs moving over one. Simple adjustment. Thank you. 
give it a long bar one two on the spline. Try that again. And that's how I bench tested uh, my rear wiper motor and installed it onto the car. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.